Abraham's journey south, the untold connection between biblical Jericho and Kenya's Kericho. In Genesis 13, the Bible tells us that Abraham traveled south from Egypt. If we follow this journey, it takes us into sub-Saharan Africa, far beyond what many might imagine. Could Abraham have ventured as far as modern-day Kenya? Let's explore two key locations that raise intriguing possibilities, Kericho and Gilgil, towns rich with untold stories and hidden connections to the biblical narrative. The journey to Jericho, or Kericho. Jericho is a city mentioned throughout the Bible, from the conquest by Joshua to the prophetic schools that flourished in its midst. But what if the Jericho of the Bible is not the only Jericho we should be looking at? Let's turn our attention to a town in western Kenya, Kericho. Before colonial boundaries, this region was part of the Buganda Empire, and fascinatingly, it was home to a group of prophets known as the Okoyot. These leaders played spiritual roles much like the prophets in the Bible, and some believe that Theodore Hatzel traveled to Kenya in 1899 to contact the Okoyot, perhaps believing them to be the Levites of ancient times. Was this an attempt to reconnect with the lost tribes of Israel? The similarities are too striking to ignore. The Moabite Connection In the Bible, Jericho served as a provincial outpost for Eglon, king of Moab. Interestingly, the Bantu word Moab means nephew or uncle, linking us back to the story of Abraham and his nephew Lot. As Abraham and Lot parted ways, Lot chose the plains of Jordan, a well-watered region known as Moab, the land of his nephew. Fast forward to modern Kenya, and we find Mount Elgat, a mountain located at the Kenya-Uganda border, named after this very king, Eglon. Could Kericho, with its proximity to Mount Elgon, have been a part of the ancient biblical narrative? The Rift Valley and Jericho Walls The Bible tells us that the walls of Jericho came tumbling down. How? One possibility is tectonic activity, similar to what we see today in the Great African Rift Valley, where Kericho is located. The region lies along fault lines and just like the destructive power of tectonic movements today, God may have used the earth's shifting plates to bring down the walls of ancient Jericho. Gilgal and Gilgil, a military connection. Just as Gilgal was east of Jericho in the Bible, Gilgil lies east of Kericho in Kenya. In biblical times, Gilgal was the Israelites' first camp in Canaan after crossing the Jordan. It was here that God instructed Joshua to circumcise the Israelites, a ritual that symbolized their renewal as a people. Interestingly, Gilgil remains a military camp today, perhaps echoing the military operations launched from Gilgal as the Israelites embarked on their conquest of Canaan. Archaeology in Kariandusi Archaeological discoveries in Kenya offer further clues to this fascinating biblical connection. At Kariandusi, a site discovered by Louis Leakey in 1928, hundreds of Achaean hand axes have been found. Could this ancient site have played a role in the distant past of the Israelites? The sheer number of these tools suggest that this area may have been a center for the production of stone implements, similar to the flint knives Joshua made for the Israelites. The history is deep and the evidence is there, waiting for us to uncover it. The story of Ehud and King Eglon In the book of Judges, we read about Ehud, a left-handed warrior who killed King Eglon, ending his 18-year oppression of Israel. In Kenya, the word Benjama refers to a person from the house of Njama, similar to Ehud, who came from the tribe of Benjamin, known for its left-handed warriors. Archaeological research at Kariandusi has revealed evidence of left-handedness in ancient tools. Is it possible that this connection too traces back to an ancient shared history? As we look deeper into history, the links between Kenya and the biblical narrative become clearer. Kericho and Gilgil, ancient towns in the Rift Valley, hold secrets that may stretch back thousands of years, secrets that could redefine our understanding of the Bible's geography and the true journey of Abraham. Could it be that the southward journey of Abraham from Egypt led him to these lands? The evidence is mounting and the answers may surprise you. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Africa's hidden biblical history, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep exploring the untold stories of our past with Zile Tales.